for so long. Our generals have gamed it out, confident the West will survive. We people have not even been considered. What is this right to preventative war? A war that could erase the Iranian people, dominated by its neighbor, pulsating with righteousness, smug in the fact that it is they, not Iran, who have the bomb. Why have I so far avoided to identify Israel by its name? Israel and its ever-increasing nuclear arsenal beyond reproach, uncontrolled, uninspected. We all know these things, yet we all remain silent, fearful of being labeled anti-Semitic, hateful, worse. Considering Germany's past, these labels stick. So we call it business, reparations, take your pick. As we deliver yet another submarine, as we provide to Israel the means to deliver annihilation, I say what must be said. Why did I stay silent until now? Because I'm German, of course. I'm tainted by a stain I cannot wash out. I'm silent because I want so badly to make it right, to put my sins in the past and leave them silently there. Why did I wait to say it until now and write these words with the last of my ink, declaring that Israel threatens world peace because it is true, and it must be said. Tomorrow will be too late. We Germans now carry a new burden of sin on our shoulders through the weapons we have sold. We are helping to carry out this foreseeable tragedy. No excuse will remove our stain of complicity. It must be said, I won't be silent. I've had enough of the hypocrisy. Please shed the silence with me. The consequences are all too predictable. It's time to demand free and permanent control of both Israel's nuclear arsenal and Iran's nuclear facility, enforced with international supervision. It's the only way. In a land convulsed with insanity, Israelis, Palestinians, everybody will survive. And we too will survive.